Hello everyone, I'm Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and today I'm reviewing another electric step-through commuter bike the Mostage Lundy 27.1 uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna be showing you today what this European bike is offering I believe it's a French brand um, Yeah, I'm just initially just to give you a quick information the technology that I can see and has been used to build this model it's already outstanding so uh, yeah something to test out during my review but the best thing that I'm finding so far is the extra components or elements to lock this bike so yeah let's uh, go into the review and see what the performance of all these elements are and also the comfort and I want to acknowledge spokes in Abbott's for that provided this electric bike for review today Okay, so I'm gonna go quickly through the aspects of the bike, very basic information. So, braking system, hydraulic, with 180 millimeter and 160 millimeter rotor. So, difference between the front and rear tire. More power braking um, efficiency at the front, which is something good to have. Uh, tires, switch ball 27.5 motor type like uh, this, this design is great for commuting low rolling resistance uh, which is great for a city set battery power embedded in the low tube 400 watts hour by Bosch as well um, which is uh, powerful enough connection point most of the bikes have that connection at the down to part part of the down tube this is not so different Bosch active line plus with 50 Newton meters now locking system many e-bikes don't come with anything like uh, self-included locking system the this one comes with this uh, AXA block so basically you need your key similar to where the key to open the battery hatch is and you twist it and it's gonna pretty much drop there locking the tire which is great though you have another option as well to lock your bike which is basically removing the uh, controller another thing that we have here is the rear rack with 27 kilograms capacity which I think it is on the high side uh, the models that I've reviewed before offer up to 22, 25 but having two kilogram extra makes a difference i think especially for commuting sometimes we have to carry a lot um, gear system Shimano diori 10 speed cassette uh, really well presented and high technology in this sense also we have this chain guard which is basically to protect you from greasing your pants and also uh, keeping that chain in place other accessories we have aluminium uh, mud guards rear and front one which is not common to see in many bikes most bikes would have a plastic pvc maybe made which would tend to rattle a lot but in this case is uh, sturdy of course it's gonna add a little bit more to the general weight of the bike um, front and rear lights automatically activated when you turn the bike on and of course you can control here that to happen and also the possibility to um, record three different settings which is you know when you turn the bike on then the bike is gonna potentially turn the lights on or not uh, just basically remember uh, remembering what your previous setting was after you use the bike now in terms of controlling the whole system we have the Bosch Intuvia uh, display and also the controller uh, which yes yeah, pretty simple you just have to you know change into uh, the pedal assist and also if you want to have more readouts then just using the info button so yeah few things the most important one of course is gonna be the battery range that you have based on the battery power and the last thing I want to show here about the 
design of the handlebar this <laughs> eagle shape again the other bike that i've seen this is the cannondale with that shape as well but this is quite you know different and i love the, the possibility of sitting here and easiness to reach the grips uh, which provides extra comfort to my riding experience and body posture also talking about the grips here with that little flap here which is gonna offer as well support especially when braking and having all the body weight going forward so something that i'm gonna be testing out in a bit all right so the tour mode next level of assistance same gear system on a crazy incline well again very smooth kicking from the motor and the torque providing that assistance and now going a little bit harder but per performing much better than the echo pedal assist level all right so i'm testing the turbo mode of the mustache lundi same mistake gear system selection <laughs> okay i can tell the sensor of the the torque sensor of the motor straight away giving that power my pedaling is really smooth right now and becoming of course harder because of the type of incline uh, but way much better than the echo mode for sure so yeah this is a great um, opportunity for anyone that has to tackle massive inclines and having enough power in the motor to go all the way up um, so right now going through a little bit of an off-road very gentle not wanting to go too hard of course and uh, testing the comfort what i'm having with the seat post and again the handlebar and grip so far feels good i don't feel much of any vibration really stable no kind of instability or something similar like that so feeling good testing the comfort when braking and the fact that i'm having uh, all my body weight going forward i'm loving that i have the comfort and easiness to support my body weight against the handlebar and the grips providing extra uh, security and easiness when braking let's uh, test out a little bit its maneuverability on this corner hey really good actually okay my final impressions of the mustache lundi uh, i found it quite interesting motor motor efficiency battery range comfort uh, especially about the comfort and reachability of that handlebar and grips made my life easier when riding on um, and even surfaces or high speed and having to turn left or right quickly I felt that was a very interesting feature or experience I was having also I loved the fact of the Intuvia controller that can be removed from its socket and also give that extra possibility of locking your bike if you need to on top of having a lock that is gonna secure the rear rear tire for extra peace of mind but if you want more as well talking about the battery you will have that embedded in the low tube and also having the possibility to remove it from the frame if you need to. in terms of accessories it is what i would be hoping to have in a commuter bike having mod guards at the front and rear having a 27 kilogram capacity carry weight rear rack uh, front and rear light you can see it. I don't know, it's hard to, to film it but yeah having those features and straight away being activated when turning the bike on is amazing if you think that you liked this review or if you like this bike i definitely recommend to go and review the bike test it out uh, give it a couple of loops whenever you feel comfortable with near the bike shop and if you don't know where to source this bike well i would suggest going to the bike store where i source this bike or maybe looking into a bike store that is closer to your area